Okay, for those of you who follow my videos on YouTube, which I'm watching, uh, some of you have emailed me wanting to know what I'm using. Um, we're in the process of building an entire 737 simulator. And my son is operating the video camera here. What I've been using so far is the Precision Flight Control Yoke. The rudder pedals down here are Satec rudder pedals. I'm going to get rid of those and get a little bit better rudder pedals, although there's nothing wrong with them, and my son will get those. This is a GoFlight pedestal, and I have it set up for four engines. Although when I fly the 737, we use two throttles only. It has the thrust reversers, and it also has, of course, the speed brake and flaps in various degrees. I have it set up for the radio is a combination com and transponder. Uh, the switches are kind of self-explanatory right now. They're for the landing lights, taxi lights, beacons, and so forth. This is all going to come out. This is also going to go to my son who's building his own simulator which he has on YouTube presently and I'll be replacing that with the simulatory uh, 737 uh, copy of the uh, 737 throttle quadrant. We have the monitors up here that are going to eventually go behind here. I just got this the other day. This is a pole dragonette instrument panel and it's pretty cool because it comes with uh, uh, gauges that are phony but they light up and they look pretty real. The brake pressure gauge, the yaw damper gauge, and of course the dummy clocks. Um, they come when you buy this it comes with everything, knobs, everything that you need, switches, enunciators, small micro switches, for your ground proximity and I mean it comes with everything and it's pretty cool because most of the other ones that you would purchase uh, you have to buy all that separately all the switches separately you usually just get the panel and then it costs about three times as much as the pole dragonette uh, got the uh, landing gear mock-up it's uh, identical to the 737 landing gear handle uh, as yet we haven't put the flaps gauge in but we got this from open cockpits and we'll soon be adding three actual gauges here uh, from Flight Illusion and it's going to be in this order the attitude gauge uh, and the second gauge slot here we're gonna have the digital altimeter and below the indicated airspeed uh, they're all backlit and the entire panel is backlit uh, Right now, you're using the MCP Go Flight module. Uh, the ethos that are going to be on both sides are going to be coming from Go Flight, or excuse me, from um, open cockpits, which are backlighted. Unfortunately, the Go Flight uh, MCP is not backlighted. And last but not least, got the SADEC headset and microphone, um, and it's uh, almost an identical copy of what's uh, currently in most of the airliners these days so it works real well. Uh, when I get this thing up and running uh, we're going to be doing some more shots and uh, I'll put that on YouTube and uh, let you see uh, how the uh, entire thing is uh, progressing. I want to thank a couple of people uh, Brendan for one, uh, he's been great and I've been bugging the heck out of him. He has his own simulator and I've been kind of picking his brain. And the young man from um, over in uh, Poland who puts his uh, videos on, Paul Dragonette, uh, I want to thank him also because he's been an uh, immense help on some of the things. And that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.